simple test and test participle. Vamos falar sobre os verbos no passado e passado participle. So we have the verb here, then we have the translation, then we have the simple past and past participle, and we have an example. So the first verb we're going to see is to allow, which is premature or to desire. And the simple past is allowed, and past participle is allowed. So an example, smoking is not allowed here. Não é permitido fumar aqui. O second verb é to add. Add means adicionar. Added and added. She added him on the Facebook. Ela o adicionou no Facebook. Next verb is to appear. Appear is aparecer. Appeared and appeared. So, they appeared on TV. Eles apareceram na TV. Next, to ask. Perguntar ou pedir. Asked, asked. And he asked my name. Ele perguntou meu nome. She asked him to close the door. Ela pediu para ele fechar a porta. Then we have the verb to be. We have studied the verb to be, which is fair or star. So the simple past is was or were, and the past participle is been. So I was really tired. It was estava muito cansado. They were my teachers. So eles eram meus professores. Then we have the verb to become, which is tornar-se, or uh, so became is the best, simple past, and become is the past participle. This is an irregular verb, which changes in the past participle. And uh, then we have the example, we became friends, nós tornamos amigos. So I just want to remind you that the past participle most of the time goes with the verb to have, which we already have had studied the verb to have. Okay? So next thing. Next we have the verb to begin, which is começar, begin, and begun, another irregular verb. They, uh, the film had begun when we arrived. O filme tinha começado quando chegamos. The verb to believe, acreditar. Believed and believed. It's a regular verb. I believe our team will win. Eu acredito que o nosso time vai ganhar. Then we have the verb to bring, which is prazer. It's brought, brought, it's a regular verb. I brought my sister to the party. Eu trouxe minha irmã para a festa. Then we have the verb to build, que é construir, built, built. It's a regular verb, and the new building was built in front of the park. So, foi construído um novo prédio em frente ao park. Then we have the verb to buy, which is comprar. Bought, bought, it's a regular verb. I need to buy a new bikini. Preciso comprar um bikini. Novo. So next we have the verb to call, which is telefonar ou chamar. So cold and cold, it's a regular verb. So no, no, note that when it's a regular verb, the verbs in the past or past participle ends with ed. 
it, it just changed like with Evie. So I will call Mary and invite her for my party. So vou telefonar para Mary e convidá-la para a minha festa. Note here, note here that we have will. Will is, is auxiliar for the future, okay? And uh, we are going to study about that soon. So she called her mom to come see the puppy. Ela chamou a mãe para ver ver o filhote de cachorro. So then we have can. Can é poder ou conseguir. The best tense is could. So there is not a, a, a best participle. Okay? So he could ride a bike when he was three. So ele conseguia andar de bicicleta aos três anos. The verb to change. Change é mudar ou alterar alguma coisa. Ou mudar de endereço. Change. So the, the past is changed and past participle changed. I changed my vacation destiny. Mudei meu destino de férias. Then we have to consider. It's considerar. Considerably and considerably. So I consider him family. Eu o considero da família. Note that all those, all these verbs here to call, actually, not the can, but to call, to change, and consider, it's a regular verb which we have on the ED, on the past and past participle. The next thing we have the verb to continue. Continuar, continued, continued. She can't continue with the project. Ela não pode continuar com o projeto. So we have can here in the negative way. It's can plus not can't. And then we have the continue here, right? Then we have could. Could is poderia, all right? So there is no past or past participle. Uh, just I could have traveled, but we have traveled here in the past, in the simple past. Like I could travel, have traveled to New York if I had the money. So eu poderia ter viajado para Nova York se eu tivesse to come, there, came and come. She came earlier than I thought. Ela veio mais cedo do que eu pensava. So this is a irregular verb, which changes in the, in the past, in the simple past, and the past participle. Now we have to create. We are created and created. So just this is a, a regular verb. Also continues a regular verb. The company created new jobs for the, the city. A empresa criou novos empregos para a cidade. Then we have the verb to cut, which is cortar. Uh, the past tense is cut and past participle is cut. So notice, note that it does not change. It's just cut. Whether it's in the present tense, whether it's in the past tense, whether it's in the future tense. Or like in the past participle. Okay? So he cut the pizza in eight slices. Ele cortou a pizza in eight fatias. Tá? So we know that it is in the past here because he cut the pizza. He already cut the pizza. Okay? So next thing, we have the verb to die. 
to die and more hair. Died and died. It's a regular verb because we have to only have the ED at the end. And he died in a car accident. Ele morreu em um acidente de carro. The, then we have the verb to do, which is passer. Then the, the past is did, and past participle is done. So that is a irregular verb. And I have taught my class the, that to do, also we use it to make questions, simple questions. Like, do you like apples? Simple question. No? So they did a very good job. Eles fizeram um trabalho muito bom. Then we have the verb to expect. Esperar. But this esperar here não é no sentido de sentar e esperar alguém. É no outro sentido que você espera alguma coisa de alguém ou espera algum resultado, alguma coisa assim. So, the past tense is expected it. And the past participle expected it. It's a regular verb. So, I was expecting his phone call. Eu estava esperando o telefonema dele. So, notice that we have expecting. This, this ing is an action now, right? It's a... Um, it's not a past tense, but it's just it, like when we have the in here. Like in Portuguese, you have the ando or ando, like esperando. Okay? So, then if I would, if I would do that in the past tense, um, I expect him to call me. Right? So, eu esperava ele me chamar. So, then we have the verb to fall which is care. The best thing is fell, and the best word say was fallen. It's a irregular verb. So, an orange fell from the tree. Caiu uma laranja da árvore. Then we have the verb to feel. Feel is sentir. Felt, felt. It's a irregular verb too. And so I felt really happy with the news. Eu me senti muito feliz com a notícia. Then we have the verb to find, to encontrar, found, found, regular verb. So I found the keys under the bed. Encontrei as chaves embaixo da cama. Next, we have the verb to fold. The verb. Fold, fold. Regular verb. With VD. Sally folded the sheet. Sally dobrou o lençol. Then we have to follow, which is seguir or acompanhar. Followed, followed. It's regular verb. So Jack was followed by a stranger. So Jack foi seguido por um estranho. Or I have followed their discussion. So eu acompanhei a discussão deles. Then we have a verb to get, which is pegar, conseguir, also is obter. Okay? So the past tense is got. Best participle is got it. And uh, so don't forget to get the keys. Não se esqueça de pegar a chaves. She got a new job. Ela conseguiu um novo emprego. To give, dar, gave, given. It's a irregular verb. So he gave me flowers every day. Ele me deu flores todos os dias. So fold, followed, it's regular and this is irregular, they changed. To be continued, 
We'll be right back. <laughs> 